25 miles west of the Solween River, a major obstacle to the linking of the Burma and Lido roads is eliminated with the capture of Tungue. During the six weeks offensive, all supplies were flown over the hump from India and parachuted to the Chinese army. These pictures show the last days of the siege. Ammo is rushed in for the American trained Chinese troops before Tungue. The fight for this ancient walled city in the Yunnan province climaxes months of campaigning in the rugged and rain-soaked mountains of southwestern China. Dong Yue, also known as Dong Zhong, has a long history as a way station on the overland route into China. It early won fame as a prosperous trading center, a visit to which was recorded by Marco Polo. Opening fire on an enemy pillbox at the city's east gate. A camera equipped with telephoto lenses records the results. The Japs can be seen hurriedly deserting the position and running for cover. operating out of bases in China and India support the ground troops. Dive bombers of the 10th and 14th American Air Forces attack heavily fortified enemy positions. <laughs> Observing the bombing is the Chinese regimental commander, Colonel Gu Pien. storm the battered walls. They scale the 30-foot barriers to reinforce positions inside Tung Yue. On 14th September, the remains of the Jap garrison of 4,000 are wiped out. Chinese soldiers. There are no Japanese wounded. The fanatical defenders forced those Jap wounded who were able to walk to fight for the city. Seriously wounded Jap troops were reported to have committed mass suicide. Dongyue, occupied by the enemy for two and a half years, has been reduced to a heap of rubble. Its fall enables the Chinese to regroup for a drive against last Jap strongholds, delaying completion of the land supply route from India across northern Burma into China. At the Burma terminus of the supply road, Michinaw Strategic Air and Rail Junction is visited by Admiral Lord Louis Mountbatten. Among those greeting the Supreme Allied Commander is Brigadier General Louis A. Pick in charge of Lido Road construction. Also, Lieutenant General Sun of the Chinese Army. Lord Mountbatten inspects the points of siege in Michinaw, which was captured after stubborn resistance during last summer's monsoon season. Next, a ride along the 30-mile Jeep railway between Michinaw and Mogong. The railway is now in complete operation. Supplies and troops are shuttled between the two North Burma bases. Chinese columns employing various modes of transportation follow the tracks to Mogong and back. These Chinese troops have fought long campaigns in waist-deep mud and through hazardous jungle terrain to help bring the Allies to the China-Burma frontier. <laughs> 